Man can do what he wills, but he cannot will what he wills. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. Compassion is the basis of morality. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Life is a constant process of dying. They tell us that suicide is the greatest piece of cowardice. That suicide is wrong when it is quite obvious that there is nothing in this world to which every man has a more unassailable title than to his own life and person. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone. And if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom. For it is only when he is alone that he is really free. The world is my idea. One should use common words to say uncommon things. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. The assumption that animals are without rights and the illusion that our treatment of them has no moral significance is a positively outrageous example of Western crudity and barbarity. Universal compassion is the only guarantee of morality. Compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. Every miserable fool who has nothing at all of which he can be proud adopts as a last resource pride in the nation to which he belongs. He is ready and happy to defend all its faults and follies tooth and nail, thus reimbursing himself for his own inferiority. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. No rose without a thorn, but many a thorn without a rose. We forfeit three-fourths of ourselves in order to be like other people. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training, for it trains people as to how they shall think. Every parting gives a foretaste of death, every reunion a hint of the resurrection. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. So the problem is not so much to see what nobody has yet seen as to think what nobody has yet thought concerning that which everybody sees. We seldom think of what we have, but always of what we lack. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude, for the world is hell, and men are on the one hand the tormented souls, and on the other the devils in it. If we suspect that a man is lying, we should pretend to believe him, for then he becomes bold and assured, lies more vigorously, and is unmasked. After your death, you will be what you were before your birth. Ordinary people merely think how they shall spend their time. A man of talent tries to use it. Philosophy is a science and as such has no articles of faith. Accordingly, in it nothing can be assumed as existing except what is either positively given empirically or demonstrated through indubitable conclusions. To feel envy is human. To savor schadenfreude is devilish. Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. Faith is like love. It does not let itself be forced. Man can do what he wills, but he cannot will what he wills. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial.
the safest way of not being very miserable is not to expect to be very happy. To find out your real opinion of someone, judge the impression you have when you first see a letter from them. He who writes carelessly confesses thereby at the very outset that he does not attach much importance to his own thoughts. To be alone is the fate of all great minds, a fate deplored at times but still always chosen as the less grievous of two evils. The shortness of life so often lamented may be the best thing about it. Marrying means to have one's rights and double one's duties. The art of not reading is a very important one. It consists in not taking an interest in whatever may be engaging the attention of the general public at any particular time. When some political or ecclesiastical pamphlet or novel or poem is making a great commotion, you should remember that he who writes for fools always finds a large public. A precondition for reading good books is not reading bad ones, for life is short. If I maintain my silence about my secret, it is my prisoner. If I let it slip from my tongue, I am its prisoner. Life swings like a pendulum backward and forward between pain and boredom. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. There is no more mistaken path to happiness than worldliness. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. Hope is the confusion of the desire for a thing with its probability. Reading is thinking with someone else's head instead of one's own. Wealth is like seawater. The more we drink, the thirstier we become. And the same is true of fame. We can regard our life as a uselessly disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness.